San Diego, Cabrillo National Monument. Uh, I used to come out here a lot and do intervals, get some hard runs in. Uh, now I'm here with uh, Nate Diaz and the team. Put in the work, do a 20, 30 minute, you know, warm up, get the blood pumping, do some work where you go to battle. I was so hard headed at first. My grandma didn't even believe in me. I kept going though. All I can say is I told you. Jury at the bank down the bar. You should have never doubted me. I'ma work to my last breath. I'ma hustle to my last breath. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you should have never doubted me. The pain and the struggle followed me. My daddy never been that bothered me. And these cold streets made a man of me. For a time it'll come, they doubt me Had to keep them OGs round me Keep a young, young homie grounded You never know where your motivation to come from We do the most with these bras and pop shundan They try to push you beside, you gotta fight some I had a line on the thigh, and now we back guns I want that number on my spot, I'm like Icon I got that beast in my eyes, I'm like Tyson With my heart and my drive, I know I'm righteous Keep some ice on me, raggy, raggy like bad boy once you win, 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 you gon' want more Set a tree and tree and tree and need a arm trucks because as COVID there weren't a lot of parts so there's only a few of these out there and we have we just got the last one in this area everyone's trading in their stuff to try to get this so you're saying everyone's, everyone's trading, trading in, in the, trying getting rid of their TRX and getting trying to get this really? yeah. well which one which one wins in a race I, I'm gonna say this one So I talked to my owner, he's going to FedEx everything to you, we're going to take care of everything for you. Yeah, that metal rack on the back too. Everything, everything, got you. What's up? We're in San Diego, bro. Right on the, right here at the harbor, right by the airport. I came down, I got a call, we needed the, the baddest truck, and we were working a deal, and we worked a deal on the baddest truck right now in the market, which is the new Ford Raptor R. Four new mates to clean my house. Get my mama, my daddy, I'm day one nigga. Key to my house. Made 500,000 every time you see me out. See me out, yeah, yeah. All the public with the grip. All the fans wanna take a pic. Niggas not on my level. Why you mad? I fucked your bitch. Had to say it, cause you talking. I ain't even trying to rub it in. I'm trying to make another hundred million. Figure out how I'm gonna be my brother's in. Made Marnie poppin', we put Marnie on our jeans. Yeah.
Serious imagine. It's a jungle in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Is he gonna let us in right here? I'm not carrying my shit. <laughs> Come back and open the garden. Obviously, everyone knows you got a fight coming up. You, I'm, I know you trained boxing prior to even even UFC stuff, but like, how much of your training throughout your whole UFC career has been striking, has been boxing? Uh, the whole time I've been I've been boxing. Uh, <clears throat> just like how boxers do, I bring in pro boxers since I've been sparring pro boxers since I was 15, 16 years old, and uh, 16, 17 years old, and uh, and. Uh, I train with the best I could find always, and uh, same goes with jujitsu. Because I've always been curious about this, because like you know, you saw the Askren fight, you saw these fights that he went into. The, the Fury one obviously didn't go the way that I thought it was going to go, just because I was so convinced that like Jake had these fights fixed, and there's a lot of people who talk about the fights being fixed because it's just the way it is. Um, you're yeah, they tell me that too, like. Tell me you're not gonna take a fall and get a fall. I'm, that's Everybody what I say. That's why he says that to me. I'm like, are you kidding me? You gonna pay me all, all the money in the world? Just all on anybody, anybody ever. I'm like, what the fuck is that? So there was never conversations about stuff like that, about like yo. No, I, there was. I, I wish there was with the devil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I love it. I know it's snitch, but I'll tell on that bitch. No. Um, I guess my question to follow up on that is, how do you think this fight's gonna go with you and Jay? Yeah, I think he's got, uh, he's got, I can see passion in fighting, in boxing, just the way he trains and talks about training. Yeah. And, uh, 
and you can, I know, I know, like people who start training with me, I just touch it, it over consumes their whole life, just like it did me when I started, yeah. too. So I could see that in him, and I could smell it in him, and I could see how it puts all this, everything into it. Yeah. And uh, I know, I know that that that's a that's a guy you gotta worry about. That's, that's a problem, and the confidence too. That's just that Connor came on the scene like that, and yeah. uh, he's coming on the scene like that. And uh, no matter how they go about it, you can see the, the passion in it. But uh, I've been in there having that same passion the whole time, and yeah. it's still going. And it's still, I still believe that I'm here to make history too, and show how it keeps on going past what people have done ever. Yeah. You know, so until the end of time. This is just, this is a piece of the pie. That's Another day. That's how, yeah, that's how we do it. And, uh, and, uh, well, I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would you consider yourself a pothead? Because you gotta be like the most No, active. I know some pieheads. No, you're not that. No. No. But you're, I mean, damn, I'm impressed. I'm impressed how much you get done smoking like that. Let you should see my brother when I was younger. He would have. Yes, I'm just. For the, for the vibes, for the culture right here, I have to do it. My brother would have smoked so much weed all my whole life was crazy. Like in fifth grade, my mom was like, quit smoking in here. I'm waking up to the whole house just smelling like weed. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start smoking weed? Uh, not until I was a little older, probably like 14 or 15. I smoked, That's a little I older. smoked a little bit. I yeah. Well, that. my brother and all of them were smoking up. weed the whole fucking time when I was a yeah. third grader. Do you think Connor would ever f fight you again? Connor? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks for having me, brother. Of course, man. I appreciate Thank it. you so much. Yeah. yeah. Blessing. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Oh, yeah. Fucking awesome. Can I get a photo? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get a workout so that you want to come out here and fuck with you. I'd love that. I'd yeah. love that. What the? Take. Uh, yeah, please snap one here. I'm getting ashes on my shirt. I'm serious about the workout, though. Nah, me too. I'd love to get you out here. I really appreciate you coming on. I'll come back and fuck with you too. We'll fuck him here and work out my boy. I've been telling my boy because I work out with my homie. He's a big old fucking monster. No, I'm not and I'm like, I'm like, and he was telling me about you. I didn't know he knew you because he's older. He's my age was like two years older. How old are you? 34. 34. Yeah, I'm 38. He's like fucking 41. Making my OG knocked out all kinds of motherfuckers. Thank you guys for coming too. Oh, yeah. That was fucking awesome. So. Fuck up, right? Yeah. Right. Street fight. Yeah. Easy, brother. Man, really? I feel like you're so white. I'm being though. nice on camera. Oh, no, no, I don't want you to be that. I, yeah. want you to nice. I want you to be mean on camera. Yeah, that's good. Oh, fuck. Bro, I fucking like bigger guy than you. You're almost the same height. Well, you play that right here, camera too. I fucked him on the other day. No offense, no offense. Yeah. <laughs> I put Brad in the pool. Easy work, though. Easy work. <laughs> Brad. Please get Jake. Oh, that's the plan, bro. Please. You think I'm here to play? Please, I'm not please. fucking please. around. I'm no, so glad no, there's no. none of that, like, because I always question that, like, is that, is it bullshit for the fucking clout, you know? No. In the bathroom, and he's in the bathroom, we're sitting in the bathroom, and we're waiting for him to come out of Jake Pond's whole cruise watch by, and he already been talking show, and he's like, and I was like, Whatever. I'm standing there, and he walks by with his whole crew, and we're like, oh, these fools, <laughs> they're just talking shit, right? Yeah. So we're all like, we're standing there, ready for him to walk by, and he walks by, and he looks at me, and he goes, what the fuck? What the fuck, bitch? What? <laughs> Didn't you just talk shit? What? Fuck you. So he had, a, he had a fight on his hands, so. though. So to be he, he was fighting, uh, who was he fighting? Silver. He was fighting Silver. So I'm like, I'm, I'm betting this man, brother, go ahead and do your work. Yeah. And I'm then, excited. yeah, but I'm like, don't play with me. I'm not playing along with your fucking promote the fight bullshit. Even though that might promote the fight, but I'm like, <laughs> yo, I ain't trying to play yeah, along you with your shit. You, so you just really I don't need it. nobody with my nobody to know that I'm gonna whip his ass except for that motherfucker. Um, I think we're gonna do a little interview, a little sit down for ESPN with Nate Diaz ahead of the big wow, August 5th awesome. card in Basically, Dallas, American no Airlines Center. I think tickets are still available. Thousand. We're in Los Angeles, we're in Bel Air actually to be more specific. Uh, it's a pretty dope home, and we're gonna do a little sit down right by the pool area with the golf course in the background. Yeah.
We're in Bel Air, California. We're over here, here about to do the Nelk Boys podcast, Full Send podcast. I'm gonna pull the Nelk Boys. You know, it's fight camp time. We're ready to fucking go. There's another day in the life with Nick McDiaz. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> Good? How are you? Good to see you. What's up, boys? What's great, man? What up? What's up, baby? You good? Working with that team, he took some losses, but he made it up. Jack about it, sold the same nigga who put our cable up. Is there any, like, real beef between your guys' squad and, like, your squad? Nah, he don't really got a squad. Yeah. Is Hyra on the team? I don't really know. I think he hired a whole new team, so... Like beef with squad's a lot bigger for sure. Yeah, way bigger. <laughs> and it's the same faces. It's not a beef set, but it's like, it all started. Yeah, we got a squad that we've been with for years. Like, I've been training with him 10, 12 years. All these guys, do you think? Do you, have you noticed that? I thought the same thing with Connor when I, when I fought Connor. I was like, you know, that he roasted everybody at the yeah. press conferences and stuff and went hard on everybody. <laughs> and I was like, well, when I get the fight, I don't believe that he has anything he can say to me because I've been done done better shit than he ever done, and I've been whipped a lot more ass than him, and I didn't think there was much for him to say. And then. Uh, when we got out there, he still had shit to say. He's crazy. He's just like, well, he's yelling. And I was, I was just pissed off with that dude. Fuck you. And uh, just naturally, that became the biggest fight that ever happened at yeah. the time. So I don't, I don't know if they're trying to push the issue. I don't know. Do you think, what do you expect from Jake? Do you think you, like, he starts trash talking a little closer to the fight? Or do you think, like, because like, we were watching his stuff too, and it's like, yeah, it seems like he's kind of he softened up. I don't know if you guys got him in like a like a kind of checkmate where he's not talking trash, but yeah, like I said about the Connor one, he don't got shit to say. What he gonna say? This is obnoxious. What? He's trying to talk shit at that press conference, remember? Yeah, yeah. But like, I'm not interested in being a little kid argument with you. Yeah, because him and Darren Woodley was just goofy. Did any of you he got mad that I wasn't talking shit to him. People talk shit to you on the internet and shit, and they think when they see you, because you didn't say anything back that you don't want to know, or you're not fucking with them or something. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of that, I saw... Am I supposed to write back to you that I'm going to smack the fuck out of you when I see you? Yeah. Then you're gonna see me coming. I have to pray you're so good, Jimmy Daniels. I get in there coming. This is a good time. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. It's a call. It was like, yeah, it was like 50 calls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're so scared. Snoop Dogg, what is that? I should ask you guys about that. You guys are together. We're home on that. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in uh, LA, just ran the pod. Fucking wanted to do this for time. Legendary episode with Nate. We're about to go out, we're gonna keep it a uh, little calm. Nate's, uh, Nate's got a big fight, so we're just gonna go have some fun. Maybe get a little dinner. I'll probably drink, he, he won't drink, but. Now go. We'll have a little good time. This guy's birthday. Now time's full send, you know what the fuck going on. Yeah, when our squads connect, it's like, it's always a little fucked.